Hey everybody, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, hey, we are back at reviews of the latest builds of Windows. So the first Redstone 5 build just hit the fast ring. That is something that just means we are now moving forward to what is the next version of Windows 10. So it was released today, May 3rd, around 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, uh, install went super well. Uh, typical time, you know, the um, time of the um, preparation and download and everything, that's always very long for me. Uh, typically about a uh, good two hours uh, to three hours. The install phase was quite quick though. The install phase was about 35 minutes, I'd say. And um, not even, I mean, half an hour max. And that's pretty much what they want anyways in this type of build. So uh, here we are. So no more skip aheads technically because they skip ahead and fast ring are now merging in here. And that means now we are at um, getting builds for the next version of Windows. What's new in here? Of course, there were the last few builds of skip ahead. One of the main features they added there was sets. And there, you know, of course, uh, tweaking sets so of course every time you you know there, there's these tab like things that work with different apps um, one of the things that's interesting here is that of course we still need to have more apps that can actually work with tabs and that's probably the biggest problem right now uh, but you know typically tabs works with some of the new uh, apps and of course um, the um, um, office uh, suit if you have uh, if you're on the uh, office insiders your office can also be compatible with this new features of sets now one of the things that is very cool here is a new uh, snipping experience so you know if you're like me I've used the snipping tool quite often the snipping tool for me is useful because I sometimes take captures or full screen captures or just portions of the screen captures and of course we had what we you know had as basically the regular little snipping tool that's available and it's this little thing where you would you know choose whatever you want full screen snip and so on and it would bring you to this uh, paint like thing now snipping tool has actually got a major overall so first of all the snipping tool is one of the ways you can get it is right here on the bottom right you have snip so the screen snip right there so that's one way you can also get it by uh, using the keyboard shortcuts uh, windows key plus shift plus s look at this snip this is the new snipping tool it gives you that little bar at the top that gives you rectangular um, freeform full screen of course you can get out of it so look at this i'm gonna draw i'm gonna use freeform for example and let's say i want to draw a snipping cloud or what looks like a cloud around here let it go it's automatic automatically in the clipboard so you see here it's shipped it's snipped to the clipboard automatically you see it right there this is cool you can click on it and look at that Screen Sketch is the new app. It's an app that comes from the Microsoft Store that will be updated all the time and it lets you do tons of things. You can write over it if you want. You can annotate. You can underline. You can do uh, everything you want. It is great. The Screen Sketch feature is very powerful and lets you do pretty much what you want. This, you know what, is what I would have wanted in Windows since Windows 95 probably. It's finally here. And of course, you can, uh, you know, do a new snip. You can open files. You can add. You can, uh, you know, merge pictures together. There's the different tools for writing. If you have a pen, lots of tools with the pen also. Even gestures with the pen on this. So it's kind of cool. And uh, it is just amazing when you think about it. So this is really a nice, nice uh, snipping experience it's a much better snipping experience honestly and look at that you can save but look what's cool 
you can share it easily with almost anyone and anything. It's really cool to have all of this here and that you can share it easily if you wish to do so. So uh, snipping tool, great, great, great new way. Uh, if I use the keyboard shortcut, uh, Windows and Shift and S, you see here, look at that, gives you the snipping tool. I can actually do a, let's do a full screen snip. Here it goes, full screen, got it right there in the clipboard, choose it again. I now have my full screen snip. I just use it and do what I want. You know, I do so many screenshots and um, snips at different parts of my screen. This is gonna be, honestly, an amazingly useful tool for me. So it's really, really cool. And you know what? If you press print screen, and you heard it right, just one button, it now, by default, will enable this uh, option that says, use print screen key to launch screen snipping, and you will have that easily. And of course, as I said, it's a new button in the action center right here at the bottom screen snip now available. Kind of cool. This is kind of really cool. Of course, screen sketch, uh, which is very, very nice um, at all. Also, uh, not all insiders are getting the features, new features of sets. That's one thing that's very important to understand. So sets has some new features, but larger majority of insiders in the fast ring will see sets and a smaller group uh, won't. So if you don't see the sets feature, it might not be available to you right now, but they are going to work more on sets. Another cool thing is the add of more uh, acrylic, if you want, and the um, different, um, when, when you go to uh, the um, timeline feature, there's more acrylic, more visible uh, fluent design in here, makes it even more beautiful. So it's really nice for that. And it's actually very, very, very cool. Um, honestly, uh, nice, you know, add to the, the uh, features of the um, timeline. And of course, you know, continuation of acrylic uh, everywhere in Fluent Design. Uh, Windows Security. So now Windows Defender Security Center is now called simply Windows Security. So if you actually get the Windows um, Defender app, you'll see Windows Security. A uh, slightly redesigned look also in the way that it shows up. So uh, it lets you, of course, manage the security needs and uh, of course the firewall and all of that. So, uh, you know, they, they also have done one thing. They are changing the way the threats will show up and the actions that actually need your attention. So this is a few things that are changed. Uh, focus Assist, that, that really weirdly named uh, Do Not Disturb, is also uh, improved. Now when you actually have full screen gaming, the Focus Assist is something that will be by default. So if you start playing a full screen game, it's automatic. While you're playing a game, Focus Assist is automatic. It will prevent uh, notifications from changing everything. They are also continuing in the migration of settings within the sounds. If you open sound settings now, one of the features they've also now implemented in here, device properties. If you look at this, it's now within the settings app. And of course, this is in the continuation of trying to slowly but surely bring different options from the control panel and send them to the... Um, the settings app uh, of Windows 10. Apart from that, improvements on, uh, you know, the emojis and keyboards and stuff like that. If you, if you like that, there's a lot of things that have, you know, changed and uh, the way that the menus appear and all of that. Um, they have, of course, a new way because that was announced before, the high efficiency image file format, HEIF. Uh, was previewed first in build 17623. Now it's actually um, 
possible to see it with File Explorer, see the uh, thumbnails or the miniatures of the picture. You can also change the orientation, stuff like that, things that we couldn't do before. So if you have any of these new types of pictures, uh, well, that is available in here. So these are some of the highlights of this latest build, 17661. Apart from that, uh, flawless install, and I've been using it since, what, um, the Insider Show at 5 p.m., uh, and it's 9 p.m., four hours. It's been working for four hours. I've been doing tons of things with it. No glitches, no blue screens, no freezes. Seems to work perfectly well. Uh, another very, very nice, solid build here. And, um, of course, we're starting to see some of the cool features coming to Redstone 5. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.